Welcome to The Outer Worlds, it's Abyss, and in this video today, I'm going to show you how to complete these side quests called the Frightened Engineer. Now remember to hit that like button and subscribe to help support the channel. Alright, so first you'll need to talk to Thomas right here at the Botanical Labs. It is a simple and straightforward quest. He's going to ask you to find three Mechanical Engineer volume books. Now I will show you each individual location. First, I will show you the map, and then I will take you to each one of them. Now, there will be a couple enemies you'll have to defeat in two of the areas. And the last one is in the power plant. I already opened the door, so you just need to interact with the computer to the left in order to unlock that door. And then you'll be able to pick up the final book. Once you have all three of the books, just head back to Thomas to complete the side quests. Other than that, I hope you all enjoy the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to support the channel. And I will see you next time. Never heard it phrased in such a way before. I guess we're all trying to get our ships off the ground, ain't we? Sorry, I just wasn't sure if you were from town or if you were one of us. Something's been chewing at me, you see. Fact is, I've been, well, lying to everybody here. Camp thinks I'm a mechanical genius, but I couldn't fix a busted chair. I'll take all the help I can get. I set my mind to learning the craft of the engineer, you see. I want to make something of myself. You ever heard of the Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering? Comes in a set of three. If I had my hands on one of those data pads, I could teach myself the ins and outs. Those are good. My dad kept a copy with him when he was working in the cannery. I know the old community center kept a copy. Should find another one back in town. If you could find me even one of those pads, I'd be greatly obliged. I wish I knew. I wager the town had the full set once upon a time. Where the third's gone, I can't say. Would you? I'd be grateful. Phantom. Get away! No, 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 just leave me alone. Any luck finding one of those manuals? No 
kidding. Really? Well, which one? Look at that. Building a computing machine out of Spectrum Potatoes, a primer. I'm just glad it survived all these years. I appreciate you going through all that trouble. In fact, I put aside something special on the off chance that somebody would search out those data pads for me. Well, don't keep me in suspense. Ain't that just ironical. If I'd worked a little longer back at the cannery, I might have found this myself. Two whole data pads? Be still my beating heart. Oh, almost forgot your payment. Well, don't keep me in suspense. The geothermal plant? Now that is just incredible. You really went exploring down there? Adelaide always told us it was swarming with hostile mechanicals. That's a complete set. All three parts. I'm gonna be the greatest engineer Halcyon's ever seen. Um, aside from you, Ms. Parvati, I swear, I'll do you proud. I'm glad we could help, Thomas. I've been saving something for you. Just a little contraption I found. Should fit right into your outfit. What's on your mind? Couple months. This camp's my home. People you see milling about, they're my family. At least I think of them that way. I owe them my life. Would have died in the wilderness if they hadn't chanced upon me, starving and delirious. We all left the cannery for one reason or another. Me? I was let go, mostly on account of my incompetence. I mean, I was incompetent. I couldn't even survive on my own. Grace found me, Adelaide took me in, I've been on my feet ever since. You weren't incompetent. You just didn't fit the cannery. Not like here. This place had a U-shaped hole and now it doesn't. You could stay, you know. Here, I'd be happy to, I mean, uh, we could really use, uh, oh, this isn't coming out right, uh, if you want, Adelaide would make a place for you, 